Blue dress, white dress, blue dress, white dress, blue dress, white dress, blue dress! So by now you've all seen the whole ordeal with the blue dress and white dress. And I have two theories about this picture in particular, and they're all camera and lighting related. So basically the first theory is the white balance is off. White balance is a setting in your camera that sets the white point of the picture. Now our eyes are not that sensitive to color temperature, but the camera is. Uh, cameras are a lot more sensitive to color temperature. And for instance, I have this ring light here that's lighting my face, and this is what could have happened in the picture is that dress could have been lit by daylight, which is more of a blue color, possibly through like a window, and then the background was like an incandescent, like these lights are, which is like more yellow. So the camera could have been adjusted to that, but then this could have been lit blue, that's why my face looks blue right now. Um, let me turn this, the incandescent one back on a little bit. That's the one, first theory I have. Um, the second theory is that the exposure could have just been overexposed on it. It really is a blue dress. And it was so overexposed that it could possibly look white, white to some people. But either way, I want to explain to you some more uh, about these camera type issues um, before I really come to my conclusion. So let me do that. I have my camera adjusted to 2700K, which is the color temperature of these lights. And you can see that looks relatively white. But now we go over to the daylight here. That looks very blue. Let me open this window. And you can see now the room looks blue. It's because I have my camera in manual white balance and I, I always have it in manual white balance and that it does not automatically adjust for that. Um, and this is what could have happened in that picture is that it could have been adjusted for the background which is incandescent light and the dress itself could have been lit possibly by through a window through daylight and that could have made it look very blue as you can see right there. So I am outside now with an incandescent white balance out in the daylight and you can see how blue everything is because well cameras are very sensitive to color temperature and the, Molly is having a great time running around in the snow. Come here Molly. Let me up this white balance up higher here and you'll see that uh, the white the colors are becoming more natural and what they should look like. I'm up to 5000K now which is what daylight should look like. Molly, she's a goof. She loves the snow. <laughs> but um, anyways, it, you can see just how sensitive cameras are to white balance. I'm going to go up to 6,000K. You can see it'll start getting warmer, 7,000. And if the white balance is off, then that's when you're going to have weird color issues like that. So we have this doggy bed here. It's a blue doggy bed. And I'm going to use this to help explain my second theory, which is it was overexposed. The automatic camera settings on the camera that took that had overexposed it. You can see the blue doggy bed starts to no longer look blue as I overexpose it. So the question that everyone wants to know the answer to, is this a white dress or is it a blue dress? Well, honestly, with the two different theories that I presented, it could be either. The camera has automatic settings, and if you don't give it time to adjust, to that environment, the white balance could be off, the exposure could be off, and could really screw up the rendering of the colors and make things look like something they're not. Happens all the time with automatic cameras. So I'm gonna need to mess around with this picture in Photoshop a little bit to get more of an idea of what it really is and give you my final conclusion. Because it could be either. So after messing around with this dress picture in Photoshop a little bit, you can see I made one on the left there that looks white and gold and one on the right from the original that is more what it should look like. Um, it took a lot more effort to make it look white and gold than it did to make it look blue and black. Now the one thing I'll point out on the very right one there with the, the blue and black one is those spots that still look kind of gold. That's the incandescent light just shining down from above kind of giving it some glistening uh, highlights there on that black. Um, so that's what I really think makes people so confused and cause the controversy is that those highlights have that gold incandescent light shining on them. Um, this is definitely a blue and black dress after messing around with the picture. There's no doubt about it. Um, it took so much effort to even try to make it look kind of white and gold. And that's not why I'm just, that's not the only reason I'm saying it's black and, and blue. It, um, it's just, pretty obvious too from the original when you really look at it 
the only way I would think someone could mistake it is if you possibly were looking, your eyes were adjusted to really bright daylight. Maybe you had the picture full screen on your phone and then you looked at it, maybe it would look more white, but I think it's pretty obvious that it's blue, I gotta say. Um, just an overexposed picture, definitely overexposed was what the main problem is there. And you can see I corrected for that and lowered the black level down to where it should be. Definitely blue and black dress, guys. Leave some stuff in the comments. Have a good day.